my channel, my name's Anna. Um, I want to tell you today uh, about uh, a new pattern release by Jennifer Lauren Handmade and it's called the Laneway Dress. Um, I was one of the lucky people who actually uh, pattern tested for her and this was kind of a new venture for her because even though she's done dresses before uh, she actually um, wanted to do different bust sizes in this so I think it goes from a B cup to a D cup uh, I have all the info just here so if I look over that's why um, she describes it as um, a sleek um, and easy to wear 1940s vintage a-line silhouette uh, with it has an asymmetric um, neckline uh, and she put it will be your go-to dress for everyday adventures and beyond truthfully I think it would be actually it's such a cute little dress um, the biggest points like I said is uh, the bust the bust um, ranges uh, from A to D cup uh, so you can get a really good fit across the bust without actually having to do a full bust adjustment. Right so the details of this dress really are um, it's an A-line silhouette uh, it's got um, set in sleeves and it's double bust Dots at the front open ended so to either side and at the back it has back darts as well um, it finishes probably just above the knees on me but I didn't really make any adjustments and I'm 5 foot 10 I chose not to make any adjustments because I wanted to kind of keep it as true to um, the drafting as possible so I could give um, uh, feedback that wasn't tainted in any way so she could really understand if there were any issues. I think if I make it again I would probably add for, for me maybe about an inch uh, at the bodice. Uh, I quite like where the hemline sits uh, but if I was going to be wearing it to work or anything like that I might lengthen it just a touch I don't know I quite like it as it is but I do actually um, already have plans to make another one and I'm gonna make that um, I'm gonna try and make a maxi length length version because I think that'd be really really cute I've already got the fabric picked out but I will show you in my um, plans make if I ever get round to those. Anyway, the neckline obviously is the really really unique point. Um, I will show clips of everything but if you see the neckline is actually it's kind of got a fold over asymmetric collar. The, the buttons aren't buttonholed, they're, they're actually just sewn on. Um, you don't need to sew buttons on if you don't want to uh, but in the tester pattern it did come with just the asymmetric neckline I know when she's now launched it um, and she's added a center neckline so you can actually have the collars flipping open but at the center so they're actually um, equal uh, or what she calls the classic neckline which is nothing at all um, it's just I think a a gently scooped out um, collar which is the one I think I might try and make for the maxi length version uh, just simply because uh, I've tried this neckline so I want to try something um, a little bit different and this is so beautifully and unique I honestly didn't know whether I would like the collar because uh, I don't normally go for anything that's too decorative but I really like it in fact, I really love it. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I'm glad I got chose the buttons I did. Um, even though they're not bling in your face or very contrasty, I think they 
they're noticeable but without being too in your face so I really do like that um, the fit the fit itself is just it's perfect um, which I did say to her the the bust um, using the bit of different bust sizes I don't know obviously if anybody else had um, as good a fit straight out but for me I didn't need to adjust it at all the only thing I actually needed to adjust slightly was when I attached the bodice to the skirt um, I just used a smaller um, seam allowance because obviously I hadn't adjusted it at all um, but the the bust itself um, fit beautifully straight off and to be honest my daughter did say that is probably the best fitting dress she's ever ever seen me wear so yeah I, I, I really 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 do love this dress um, other plus points are um, the instructions I've never ever done a concealed zipper before I've done uh, exposed zips and lap zips and just normal straight out zips I'm not quite sure what you would call those but um, but I've never done a concealed zip um, not because I was nervous or scared but because um, I'm a sucker for punishment when it comes to things just, well pretty much anything but um, but yeah I, I just I've not done a pattern with um, a concealed zip uh, so this was my first and her instructions are awesome in fact so much so that I emailed her to tell her how awesome they were because uh, the, although this one isn't perfect uh, I think because I ironed out the teeth of the zipper and then I actually closed it up again for some stupid reason and then didn't iron them out again so I couldn't get the stitching quite as close to the teeth as I probably would have liked however um yeah just after I'd finished this I had my dressmaker's ball dress to make I had two days to make it in and I made it out of silk satin and that thing did have another concealed zip and um yeah I actually took the bodice and showed my daughter that and stood there and went can you see it and she went see what I said can you see it um, can I see the stitches? Uh, no, keep looking. Uh, can I see the fabric? No. And then I showed her right at the top the little um, zip pull and she was like, oh my god, there's an actual zip in there. And I was like, yeah. I said, it's an invisible zip. And she went, well, you know, it really is an invisible zip because I didn't see it. So there's my absolutely proud of that. And that was in silk satin and I used Jennifer's instructions to actually put that one in and yeah I I'm gonna put I, I went and then actually ordered off of eBay a pack of 50 concealed zips because I want to put concealed zips in everything because they look bloody gorgeous so that's another plus point um another plus point as well which I can't understand why pretty much any pattern company just doesn't do the same thing um is you know especially when you've got a really big PDF because I've seen some poor people especially on Instagram and they're showing pictures of, of PDFs that they've put together and these things are monsters absolute monsters they're like 60 pages and the poor people they're like covering half of their room and they're still trying to stick on a line and work around these massive things now what I normally do and this is a tip for anybody you know there's probably quite a lot of you do the same thing but you know if you don't and you kind of tape it all together and, and leave it as like some big massive shape don't 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 waste your time doing that honestly um, what I do is is as I get the pe like actual pieces you know so I'd get an arm piece and you know that would be fully done and then I'd be sticking more as long as I've got enough um, paper to not wreck the whole placement I actually cut the pattern pieces off as I go so it keeps um, what I'm left with as small as possible right so as I was saying um, the really good thing about um, Jennifer Lauren's pattern I'm what she does is she chunks all the pattern pieces so um, 
the bodice will be on its own separate PDFs. So you put all of those together and then a sleeve will be on another separate lot and then the skirt pieces will be on another separate lot and it doesn't actually waste any paper um, because I've printed it out and I've printed other dresses of similar sizes that actually use way more paper so um, she's fit it all beautifully so you know say if you've only got 20 minutes to spare and you want to put do some part of the PDF rather than just doing a bit and then kind of having to leave that balancing all folded somewhere and then coming back to it what you can do is just do the skirt and then later on when you have time you can come back and you can do a bodice piece or whatever and I think this is brilliant I, 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 I like I said I hope she does it on all her patterns and I hope I hope people um, if you design patterns, um, it'd be a really, really, really useful thing. I don't know if if anybody else um, knows any other companies that do that. Please do feel free to um, leave a comment um, so I can kind of hunt them down because I think it's great. And uh, you know, if you do like that idea, feel free to leave a comment as well. So maybe uh, some of the indie pattern designers might kind of decide it might not be a bad idea to try but yeah so uh, those are like my favorite bits um, I do the grown on sleeve uh, well it's not a grown on sleeve so the set in sleeve um, was pretty much a doddle to put in uh, there wasn't a huge amount of easing and it's actually it's really quite comfortable I'm not restricted obviously any kind of you pull yourself up but yeah it's not restrictive um, uh, what else to say I haven't really got any bad points uh, I don't I, I love everything about it I really do I love the style I love the fact that it can you can use lots of different types of fabrics um, so it's quite forgiving in that way I wouldn't use anything ridiculously heavy because of the set in sleeves. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend this to um, a real beginner because obviously concealed zip, set in sleeve and the collar obviously it could probably be a little bit tricky for some people because it does come down at quite a point and, and yeah it's probably not a complete beginner but you know I would say a confident beginner um, to an intermediate yeah uh, but even a, a real beginner to be honest at the dressmakers ball um, they had a whole beginner section and, and there were people who hadn't really made more than like one dress before or two dresses and the things they did they were amazing they were honestly all all of the dresses they were really really amazing and some of these ladies have barely been sewing any time at all so you know if you are a real beginner but you have a real gung-ho attitude go for it give it a try I mean okay what's the worst that can happen you get it a little bit wrong but you learn in the process and, and I think that's part of the course um I did forget as well Another big selling point, pockets. Pockets are just, they're the best thing in the world. Um, yeah, can't really say much. Um, it's great because then it means I can wear this to work and I can keep my lip balm with me, which is always great because, you know, when you leave your lip balm on the side in a glass full of 30 children, it doesn't always stay where you left it. So, yeah, that's great. Uh, but, yeah, the actual um, testing experience itself, I, I did have to rush a little bit because... Obviously, like I said, I had my dressmakers all um, dressed to finish as well. Um, but it, it, to be honest, it was pretty quick to sew up. Um, my next one that I'm going to do, the fabric is uh, slightly sheerer, so I may possibly line it. Um, there are not instructions for the lining, but 
Um, there are loads of tutorials out there, so I can't see that being a problem. Uh, but yeah, any questions I did have, I, I, I think I only had one or two. Um, I passed them on to Jennifer, I emailed her and, and within a few hours she'd got back to me. Um, she was really friendly, really um, uh, took the time out to kind of talk me through anything. Um, didn't make me feel like I had said anything wrong or stupid or, or I should know certain things. She she really, really, really nice. Um, I probably now a new fangirl because I th I think she's awesome. Uh, I'd be more than happy to test for you again anytime. Uh, so yeah, that is my review. This is the laneway dress. It's wonderful. Um, it fits beautifully. I think it's probably going to flatter pretty much any shape going, and um, with three different neckline options. Uh, it's going to be super versatile as well, so uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this pattern, and I'd highly recommend if you, you know, and, and I know with the bust starts as well, she's actually moved the, the, the outside bust start in slightly, so it sits apparently even better, so I now have to, um, I'm going to re- print out that anyway for the for the different neckline so yeah um, once I've made that um, probably in my June make so I'll give you an update but yeah so big thumbs up Jennifer Lauren lovely pattern thank you very much for a great experience and I uh, hope to do it again soon right so thank you for watching if you like the video feel free to click like or subscribe um, have a lovely week, weekend or day, um, and I shall see you soon. Thanks, bye.